If they're not serious, walk away ASAP. If a person is not serious about having a relationship with you, you must walk away ASAP. Welcome to the SCG Show. This video is officially sponsored by BetterHelp. Start your healing now in the description below. I've been in a successful relationship for over one and a half years now. And a big reason why that's the case is from our second date, my girlfriend said to me that she wasn't going to be messed around and she wasn't going to be shared by another woman and there was going to be no games and no drama. It was music to my ears. I was proud of her for standing her ground and making it very clear what her intentions were and the standard of how she expected to be treated. It's no surprise the relationship has grown over time. Long story short, we obviously and very clearly were after the same thing. I wanted a serious relationship with a woman I saw a future with that was healthy and compatible. She wanted to take her time getting to know me, but again, with the potential to having something serious and seeing a future together. Every step of the way has been totally worth it, and I'm lucky and honoured to have such a person in my life. But I'm not saying this to brag or show off, but instead I tell you to inspire you that there are decent and good people out there who are serious about relationships that will not waste your time, hurt you, mess you around, nor will they break your heart. Never beg, chase or plead for a person to love you, give you a chance or want to have any sort of relationship with you. It should instead be a connection that runs so deep that you genuinely feel that spark and chemistry to want to trust one another and open up more over time. You will never though be good enough for the wrong person. So please do yourself a favor and resonate and try to identify the signs that a person is most likely not serious about you or having a relationship. And if that's the case, walk away ASAP to save precious, valuable time. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you never miss any of my videos. If they're keeping their dating profile active, chances are they're exploring other options. Believe it or not, on our second date, after me and my girlfriend started really connecting with each other, we decided there and then to delete our dating profiles. And I was relieved. The pair of us in that instance took a huge gamble. A year and several months later, it was clearly the right decision as we've been in love and are growing closer over time. I was fed up with dating apps and dating as a whole. I was single for a year and luckily for me, I met the right woman. So I couldn't wait to see the back of online dating and neither could she. But not everyone could be like this. And some people are even prone to be in committed relationships on the surface and still have acting dating profiles. Josh met Bella off Tinder. They hit it off straight away and dated for several months. They appeared to be exclusive and he deleted his profile early on. But five months later into dating her, one of his friends told him she was actively using Tinder and online every day. He was furious and hurt. He confronted her and she admitted, we're not exclusive yet. You don't own me. Plus, I wanna see what else is out there before I make any decision. Bella used Josh, used him for attention, validation, free meals and dates. He'd fallen in love with her. She had other ideas. She just wasn't convinced and wanted to test waters with so many other men despite dating Josh and seeing him for months. He had no choice but to walk away. If their dating profile is still active after months of dating, after actually asking you out, after being exclusive, meeting your friends, family, going to weddings together, vacations, walk away ASAP. If you're getting value from this video, please smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm and survive walking away with my brand new course. Download it now in the description below. If they frequently shift their life goals and plans without considering your role in them, that might indicate a lack of commitment to a shared future. Take Anna, for example, who wasted a guy's time for several years. 
They originally met on a night out and she was attractive, fun and spontaneous. She first spontaneously decided to get into a relationship with this guy early on. However, she acted like she was single. Oh, I don't do labels, but we're dating, she said. During almost a year, Anna worked three different jobs, leaving on her own accord and she kept on moving house. You can't pin me down, she said. Next, she insisted on going traveling to Asia, insisted the guy she was seeing to quit his job and blow all his savings on the massive trip. YOLO, she shouted. Long story short, she dragged this along on her crazy, chaotic, ridiculous ideas as her foundation for two years straight. And the guy she was seeing was broke, defeated and exhausted. I love you, Anna. I want to settle down and get married. We can't live like this forever, he said. She agreed. It was time to take life seriously. But then she delayed their wedding to go traveling again constantly changing her mind. Then she insisted on living abroad, then changed her mind again. After finally seeing the light and wasting years with an inconsistent, immature, frustrating person like Anna, the guy walked away. Within a year later, he found a steady girlfriend, then got married and actually started his own business and became successful. He's wildly successful after focusing on one goal at a time, being consistent and be more grounded with the right partner. And as for Anna, she still potters around from job to job, country to country, and now man to man. She has no idea what she wants and what she's doing or where she's going. If this sounds like your situation, they are not fun, they're not spontaneous, they're annoying, they're immature and irritating, especially if they're in their thirties and older. Walk away. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. I've personally used BetterHelp and found it to be so effective for turning my life around for the better. BetterHelp is therapy online, which offers weekly sessions via phone, video and live chat. You get matched with a therapist according to where you are, what you're looking for and what you need help with. If it's not a great fit, you can switch therapists easily. Therapy is a great way to take care of ourselves mentally, just like we try to do so physically through diet and exercise. Online therapy can teach you valuable life coping skills and support you amazingly when tough times occur. Click the link below or visit betterhelp.com forward slash SCG show for 10% off your first month of online therapy today. Go ahead and start your healing now with BetterHelp. If they habitually miss or forget important events in your life, birthdays, anniversaries, it can indicate they're not serious or committed. A partner who's serious and committed is there for you, and of course, you have to be there for them as well. William met a girl in a coffee shop. He thought she was cute and they started dating for a while. She seemed like the perfect girl to have a relationship with. There was one problem. She was a huge flake cancelled frequently and was unavailable when he needed her most. For example, in an entire calendar year, she missed the following events. She missed Valentine's Day with him. She claimed to be working that day. She missed seeing him on his birthday. She said she had other arrangements. She never spent any time at Christmas or New Year's. She claimed to be seeing her family. Long story short, she had another boyfriend already and used William for attention and validation. She was never serious. And he finally found out after discovering the other boyfriend's Instagram page and was oblivious to what was going on for an entire year. It was devastating for him. In stark contrast, I've managed to spend so many anniversaries, events and special times with my girlfriend. And she's made such an effort, not just with me, but my entire family. My family are close with her too because of the effort she showed. That is the difference. And of course, whatever she needs from me and however she needs me to step up in regards to events and more, I will do my best to be there for her. But if someone is unavailable constantly and they always let you down, you must do yourself a favor and walk away. ASAP.
Guys, please share your thoughts. Feel free to share your experiences and opinions in the comments section below. A lack of effort to resolve conflicts can indicate they're actually not invested in the relationship's growth and health. Now, conflict is always present in all relationships, but if your partner or whoever you're seeing has no enthusiasm to take responsibility, talk things through, grow and repair, they're not serious, they want out, and they actually want the conflict. Robert was seeing a woman who was nice on the surface, but was nasty on the inside, aggressive, spiteful, and rude. Then Robert noticed she was not committing to any plans to see him, and he confronted her, resulting in a huge fight. She never backed down and kept adding fuel to the fire. The next day, she refused to apologize, and they insisted that they had to break up. She said, Nothing you do or say will convince me otherwise. We must break up. And she smiled with an evil grin, wanting out because she was never serious. Robert walked away and again it turned out she actually got a job abroad. She was planning on dumping him anyway. It's not about winning the argument, defeating them in conflict or being victorious. It's about resolution, identifying the problem and trying as a couple to fix it together. But if they add to the arguments, they never back down. They only make things worse and never want to resolve and repair things. Walk away ASAP. You don't need that drama. You don't need that chaos in your life, especially from someone who's not serious about you.